Hey Ami welcome back to the final episode of this story you know it's been it's become so long but i hope you will love it time is keep few days thank you for having me over jianima thank you for coming tia said jian mrs jian so did really hugging thanks tiny figure for what seems like the hundredth time now that you know you way here and it's thankful not that far from your place please feel free to pay me a visit whenever you want my door is always open for you she said before leaning in with a teasing glint in her her tender eyes i'll cook your favorite too i would love to thank a smile softly as he stood at the door before looking at the tall and impressed figure behind the woman but i'm afraid someone might get jealous thank teased back oh please don't mind him the woman threw her hand back as if she was soothing her son away he was worried you wouldn't came mom jungkook squished with wide eyes and flushed face grabbing his mom's shoulder and showing her behind after dinner it's getting late for the kid let me take him home thanks lips were twitching apart the whole time it it's rare to see jungko getting flushed and it's quite the sight uh, you would don't have to he politely declined i would rather walk home it's only 10 minutes away Then let me walk you home Jungkook shrugged stubbornly adjusting his hoodie and stepping out as well Taehyung sighed and eventually nodded waving to Mrs. Jian with a blinding smile before walking side to side with the new quiet company of his one or two days or so after meeting namjoon in the campus he received a call from an unknown number upon answering it he realized it was just mrs jian inviting him over for dinner he didn't weird they hung out because he knew from namjoon that this was her love language though he knew jungkook has given her his number oh yes they do have each other's number jungkook asked for it few weeks after they first ran into each other soon after jungkook started showing up out of nowhere and bothering his space thang didn't think much of it at first but now that he thinks about it he recalls the times jungkook would randomly ask him to leave the canteen over a text he used to think that jungkook didn't want him to be breathing around him that he despised jungkook's presence that much turns out jungkook was asking him to leave so that thing doesn't run into hanji and his minors after that little talk with namjoon he opened his eyes to the open truth and he realized that jungkook indeed is not a bad guy it's not like he is got anyone other than him to bully anyway that's why he didn't think twice before accepting mrs jones invitation although thing was a little nervous because he didn't know if jungkook wanted to see him in first place but he couldn't just miss the chance of meeting jungkook in person and seeing him how he is doing after the incident though thing didn't get why jungkook's been so quiet jungkook barely uttered a few words the whole time jungkook was watching thing and his mom's interaction with a quiet unreadable face mrs jian and thing most did most of the talking and joking the house was filled with their laughter as they shared stories among each other with jungkook 
didn't appreciate from his mother how was how open she was about jungkook's mischievous past as a kid hence why jungkook was sulking most of the time as mrs jeon she had embarrassing moment of little cook in the hours Jung Tam spent in Jungkook's house with his mother. Jungkook experienced what he would classify as a minor crisis. If anything, it actually brought a warm feeling inside of Tam as he learned how amazing and supportive Jian Emma was. The picture he saw of little Jungkook with little hair clips and pretty push. had him kicking his feet and brushing in our accent mrs jian reminded them so much of his own mother with both raised their kids with the belief that clothes and attire have no gender a strong wind pick up around the two mares as they walked them shrinked a little as he showed his cloth cold hands in his pockets he didn't want to overdress for the even dinner so he just opted with a casual attire a black t-shirt black tight jeans black converse and oversized denim jacket they let his brown blocks fall onto his forehead and wore spectacles if the author would have to define cuteness then would definitely match the definition there is nothing said the first in the quiet stretching between them until they stops and turn towards the other who up opened to with a surprise face then gave out a sigh and reached out his hand Jungkook blinks and watches as the sort of boy tiptoed pull the hoodie and cover the taller's face with it it's cold the hang clicked his tongue not minding Jungkook's flushed face as he carried on walking like nothing happened the older said nothing as he slowly walked alongside with the sort of a short breath leaving Jungkook's mouth after holding it for as long as Thang was adjusting his the hoodie for him Thang let out a giggle out of the blue as he muttered never knew you can be this quiet that's first time for me Jungkook rolled his eyes at that never knew you can be this talkative that's first time for me too I just Jungkook started after a moment of silence. I just wish it wasn't too much for you. Huh? Thang looked up at him with spark wondering eyes that soon under the street lights. You know mom's invitation. I hope it wasn't sudden to you. Not at all. Thang exclaimed with a smile as saved of kitten like Jianima is so fun to be with and bes- beside it feels nice to have a mother figure in foreign country if anything i hope you didn't mind my presence in your house i didn't want to be a bother thing said he staring at jungkook not at all jungkook's lips twinkled up a in a genuine smile good they said so you are um, you are gonna do it again jungkook's expression was hopeful although his tone was a bit awkward of course i will whenever i have time as i promised janima that's nice uh-huh then look at it his surrounding and realized that they halfway of their destination time really flies when you are around the right people so jungkook started 
again after a few moments of silence i was going on in uni again it jungkook same old thing gave out a shrug jungkook hummed in response good thing it's that hanji and his gang wouldn't be bothering you anymore about that thing moved his bang away from his eyes with a swift movement of his head as they look up at the taller and are they gonna be explained relief was there at a smaller space let's say jungkook sing song with a playful glint in his eyes you wouldn't be seeing them around campus ever again this elect the gaps from the younger they are gonna be transformed to another uni asked the another uni outside of seoul what jungkook gave a unbothered shrug that's what happens when things reach my dad's hand i mean they are lucky they are not in jail as we speak oh wow thank was he speechless yeah jungkook click kicked his feet he's always been like that ever since i was little he makes sure i didn't meet people who wants hurt me ever again he can be over protective but i guess that's how he is is that bad thank wondered i mean most of that aren't quite expressive when it comes to showing love but i guess it's safe to say that his love language to you jungkook had a thoughtful expression as thing is spoke before he eventually nods i know i just wish he would let me deal with things myself sometimes i understand the younger girl out of sight but not when things get out of hands i guess jungkook mumbled before stopping abruptly hey what thing was nervous as he stared up at jungkook the older dark brown eyes is pricked down at him sending a rush of weird feeling to his body again it's been a while since he felt this way doesn't it bother you when they call you my puppet jungkook was hesitated to ask but he asked anyway thing was silent for a moment before he shrugged i have been called worse like what jungkook's eyebrows frowned in a frown do you think for you before looking down think i am a shot for an unknown reason thing didn't mind what anyone would call him or think of of him whatsoever it didn't bother him more than not knowing what jungkook thought of him there was a short moment of silence before thing could hear hear jungkook's low voice who called you that when thing did an answer he asked again hanji it's not just him and it isn't really matter thing gave out a shrug i'm just wondering if you think i am no i don't junk grab thanks shoulder surprising him with the action and you are not one just because you like men and or you had past with some gender relationship that is in mean you are shut don't let them sickness get into your head thank junk want his eyes darken and thank swelled nervously Jungkook was standing at staring at him with flashing eyes and then wanted to look away but he couldn't they was cash in Jungkook's gaze eventually they nodded allowing the corner of his lips to twinge upward time escape i don't get until when i have to see you around it was the first time when she said he entered the car, canteen and approached the hung stable 
though the younger didn't give him the satisfaction of looking up from his plate they just let Minji say whatever he just used to it by now and he just doesn't care anymore suffocating Minji went over until he was in the same eye level with him and Hilda things changed to force him to look into Minji's eyes. You should be the absent one. You should be the one paying for it, you little thing. Then bite his tongue as he held the intense eyes contact and remained, remained silent. He blinked his eyes, blinked as they got interrupted by someone clear, clearing his their throat. Minji looked over and met eyes with a board Namjoon and Grumpy Yongi. If you don't mind moving, you are in the way. I am trying to have a seat. Yongi said Minji didn't say a thing and he just screamed at Yongi and Namjoon. Minji noticed a tall figure slowly approaching them and he raised the group. All the moment Thang harshly moved his chin, chin out of the Minji's grip and moved to the corner, offering some space for Namjoon and Yongi to sit. Minji moved with his friends to an opposite table, still eyeing them with sharp eyes. Thank you. Namjoon smiled softly as he sat down. Beside Thehang and Yongi, beside Namjoon, placing their milkshake and cold coffee down while earning a warm smile from the younger. Welcome back, Jungkook. Thang pricked up at the murmur, unaware of the fact that Jungkook is making his way towards their table. Hey, cook. Yongi waved with a smirk. Hello, Jungkook. Welcome back. Come join us, it was Minji's voice. Thang watched as Jungkook stared at him with an unaware expression. Jungkook lips pressed together tightly. It didn't look like any part of him wanted to talk to Minji right now. And just like that, he ignored Minji's entire being like Minji never existed and walk over to Thang's table. Jungkook's expression shifted to a warm one as soon as he locked eyes with Thang. Seriously, Minji threw his hand in the air, but all he received was silent treatment again. Hey, cook! Thang gave a warm smile to the older who sat across from him. Welcome back, I guess, they teased. Jungkook leaned forward out of sudden his expression serious. How long has this been going on? What? Thang felt attracted by the older serious gaze and tone. Minji, he explained, titled his head to the side. How long he has been bothering you? Thang stared back, wide eyes before he gave a soft glance. Don't mind him, he just saying whatever. If I'm not mistaken, I heard him blaming you for what happened. Jungkook crossed his arm, leaning back against the chair. Thang parted his lips to say something, but he flinched as, as noise came from the table next to them and his eyes threat at Minji, who knocked over a glass onto the table for freak's sake. Minji shouted, gathering students' attention around the place. I can't believe, Jungkook, you are turning your back on me for a useless piece of finish that and I, I dare you. Jungkook's voice was low as he stared into his face, not even bothering to turn around and give Minji a satisfaction. Really? Minji scoffed. Now standing next, right next to Jungkook, challenging him. 
are you even aware that he is the reason why you have stitches in your head are you all the time he is been doing nothing but bringing you trouble and you are acting like he is the angel and who picked you up from the pits of heck Jungkook said travel to Taehyung sit in front of him Minji he want you think i am not aware Minji let out and he will laugh even Hanji could see through his intention or and literally everyone could tell that he is got an eyes on you things has written like a deer catch in highlights this is not happening it can't be he clenched his chest closing his eyes hoping that this is just a nightmare and it's going to be over soon and through the young thought existed of having a normal college life vanished somewhere it just out of reach at the point thing was feeling dizzy namjoon and yongi came around thing and support him seriously what kind of sick person would fall for his bully ending his speech with a dramatic clap minji laughed harder at what he said shut the freak up thing flinch had jungle slam the his fist against the table drop by drop warm study tears escaped thing's eyes as he tried to take a sicky breath jungkook eyes twinched at the sight of thing room breaking down into fist of tears in front of everyone all he wanted to do at the moment was to warm wrap his arm around him and tell him anything that could soothe his bout pain but hi was jungkook knew exactly what to do to give him his sweet revenge standing up and towering towards the source of nuisance jungkook's eyes held with venom as they pressed down minji's one that jungkook was went more deeper as he pointed a finger at the hung still holding minji's case was the only person who got the courage to take me to the hospital that day aside from everyone who was watching he was the only one who took me away from the place of death you dare to look at my eyes call me names when you ran away like a coward and i haven't seen your face or hear from you during my stay in hospital bed jungkook pushed hanji Minji back at as he growled he was shaking from betrayal and complete anger you dare to call him sick when he was the right minded amongst you all fakes call me a freaking punch up at then cuz i'm enjoying every one's of attention thank you me at least i know it's a real one the room fell silent as truth came out at the brightest from for everyone everyone knew that they might have developed feelings for jungkook but hanji and minji were the only one who were brave enough brave enough to say it in loud and rub it on jungkook's face everyone but jungkook himself who kept denying it because he genuinely thought he wasn't worth falling for it at least not by the person he kept picking on all the time and now thanks to minji everyone knows including thehang and jungkook never minded thehang's feeling in fact he enjoyed it all eyes fell on thehang as he too watch the scenes with a he felt his cheeks heating up when he realized that he is being watched by everyone in the room with a quicken heartbeat he stood up abruptly and excused himself from yongi and namjoon's grip hesitatedly leaving the scene 
Damjan gave out a sigh and Yungi watched as staring and thanks walking figure watching him spitting out with a small smile on his face cute Namjoon and Yungi muttered softly then sat jump up to watch the young shrinking figure leaving he the canteen canteen with head low and thought of following him but then remember that he is not done yet i am saying this for the first and last time i don't like repeating myself junko gave minji a final glare before looking at everyone watching him if anyone has something to do with him they need to get through me first if i see anyone for the more bothering his his peace or plotting to harm him in any way i'll make sure they have the same destiny as hanji and his minus got it the jungkook had a threatening glare and once he received the answer in a form of mamas and heads not jungkook to left the place and looked around for the hang thankfully the hang didn't get too far away with the shot leg of his jungkook almost could at that he wanted to tease him but he knew it was in right time the hang wait the hang wanted to run faster but he stopped for the sake of the desperate tone he heard of jungkook's as the hang was breathing within him debating he within himself whether to turn around or not the felt that familiar grip on his shoulder again and next thing he knew he was brought into a broad chest as he felt his fingal finger being wrapped securely by a pair of strong arm thing blinked his eyes within as he was genuinely afraid his heart might jump out of his chest or was he was afraid that jungkook might feel his crazy heartbeat Tang felt a chin being draped gently against the top of top of his head, and a sigh, soft sigh, came out of Jungkook's lips, followed by a warm breath, fanning the tenderly against Tang's face. I'm sorry, they heard. Jungkook didn't know what to else to tell him. Sorry that Jungkook couldn't seal the for the pain Minji caused him. Warmth spread against Tang's whole body. At that, he could feel how genuine those couple of words are. And as a response, Tang wrapped his arm around the older waist, giving him a grateful excuse. Tang smiled and looked at Jungkook's warm, concerned eyes and shook his head in assurance. They didn't want Jungkook to feel sorry. Thank you, they said with I a nice smile and crept his head up Jungkook's chest and his collar. And in a bold moment, Thang brought his head down, grabbing Jungkook by the collar of his T-shirt. Jungkook blinked and before he could say anything he was silenced by a pair of soft lips touching his own and it was all it took for Jungkook to throw whatever he was going to say out of the window and melt into the case both knew they were being watched as they heard squeals and whistles around them but neither of them gave a flying bird they hung really tested the water and it was a brave move from him but he felt like it's now or never in the other hand jungle kissed back as soon as he felt the younger sleeves on his at the very moment jungle knew that was all he needed the wild feeling of fireworks it it needing 
in the pit of his stomach and his breath being stolen away from his from him all was all that jungkook needed for a second jungkook wished he wasn't himself if that things would have been different things would have been different now he would have been able to see words and affection to win him instant of his own freaked up ways as a smile crept on jungkook's feature as realization that he is slowly become another version of his father a welcome i guess jungkook spoke breathlessly as he pulled away from the breakfast of moment before going back to invite his mouth with them smoking at the sight of them flesher stood and just as jungkook was thinking of showing showing his tongue down them short can jungkook felt the teeth engaging and biting on his bottom lips jungkook pulled away and with a groan what what was that for you talk too much them huffed taking a step back and crossed his arm that was way to shut you up he said i guess awkwardly rubbing his back of neck jungkook had a shy smile on his face one that thing has never seen before there was a silent moment passing by them before the shorter let out a giggle earning a confused look from the taller guy what now jungkook look so overwhelmed like jungkook might pass out any moment i can't believe i lived long enough to hear you say sorry then hence now rest on the both jungkook shoulder eyes this speaks in that for first I mean it. Jungkook grinned, and Thang saw the same glint of honesty in his eyes as Jungkook spoke. He smiled. I know you do. The older is still confused, but Jungkook smiled anyway. Yes, Cook. Thang sighed impatiently, hands leaving Jungkook's shoulder to grab his hand. How? Now that we have everything cleared, I know. your intentions and we literally kissed in front of everyone don't you think it's time for the next step they ask ha huh? then jungkook as his eyes on their interlocked hands mind to carry it away by how perfect thing stani hands took a look against his big ones to catch them rolled his eyes for someone who is the strong and big you sure have one week of the princess then clicked his tongue ask me out for out idiot then faced palmed himself like on a date junk cask you are taking that back then guest placing the back of his head dramatically against his forehead and his other hand on jungkook's heart oh my god how met everyone unseen the kiss we just shared jungkook guest he rolled his eyes and stopped the drama i'm just trying to process what you are trying to say do you know the younger crossed his arms slightly or you don't want me to be your first male date Jungkook gave out a sigh as he took Thang's hand in his and started walking away, dragging Thang along with him. Where are you taking me? Thang asked. To our first date, Jungkook said, "I have afternoon lectures." Thang is beyond shocked, but you don't have to attend them. Jungkook denied. Okay, can you like slow down? People will think you are kidnapping me. Thang said. No, nope. Jungkook shook his head. At least tell me where we are going. They asked. 
I don't know. We are deciding on the way. Jungkook suggests you are unbelievable. You don't even take the time to plan for it. They were done with the, this older boy. I don't think we needed that. And besides, you ask for it, don't you? Jungkook confirm you are the most random person I have ever seen. John, John Jungkook. He said and smiling, <laughs> but you still like me, huh? Jungkook looked at the setup. Of course, I am in love with you. Thang said and Jungkook whispered, and me too. So everyone, how was it? I hope you love it, and please comment it down whatever you feel about the story because I love reading your comments and it motivates me a lot to write. more stories so comment it whatever you feel i'll see you in the next thank you once again till then take care say bye bye